What's going on YouTube? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. Um, this time around, obviously, we're doing a little bit of something different. And I'm gonna try and, like... We're obviously gonna be talking about Black Ops 4 and Call of Duty and Zombies. Um, but I kind of... Aside from that, I also want to kind of gauge the sort of interest in Zombies on the channel. Because um, that will basically gauge on how... Uh, much content I put out in the coming months and weeks towards Black Ops 4 um, And indeed when Black Ops 4 comes out the amount of content that I actually do put out because I'm super enjoying Jurassic World Evolution and I don't know whether I should Continue down that sort of simulation s game sort of route and keep Call of Duty as a private thing um, and just play it offline basically or Like you guys know Call of Duty is a big part of my channel big part of me um, so I want to stream it and I want to make videos on it, but I'm not going to do that if you guys aren't going to watch it However, that being said, let's talk about the new image that Tryout posted I'm a little bit late to this, this video, uh, this uh, picture actually came out yesterday um, Unfortunately, I couldn't make a video on it because work and all that sort of stuff But they basically put out this uh, image here and they said look forward to seeing you on Thursday the 19th in San Diego We're going to be talking about San Diego here in a second, but first of all I want to take a look at this new image and basically discuss sort of opinions, feelings and emotions towards it and um, kind of get a gist on sort of my impressions of what this could be and indeed, um, you know, what it, what it actually means for the game. So we've got a set of four images here. They're, bro they're, broke to bro they're broken up into four columns and... To me, it seems like the same image, okay? It seems like the same image. I'm gonna try and Photoshop it just a little bit um, and try and like put them together. Um, Cause I think, like I said, I think they do fit together and I think we have seen this before. So I think this thing is from the Voyage of Despair um, sort of map, obviously. From the Voyage of Despair map. And I think it is that um, sort of Viking uh, Norse sort of statue right that appears in the voyage of despair trailer i'll try and get some footage of it on screen right now um but like i said it's broken down into four images we've got like a lightning bolt that somebody's holding in their hand um i can't make out if it is a statue i think it's an actual person um second image is kind of like a shield and then it looks like sort of like a god of some description or like a i don't know uh, some sort of uh, Viking-esque, Norse-esque person, right? They got the beard, they got the shield, um, and it looks very Viking-y um, or Norse-y, you know, that sort of thing. Third image, we've got kind of like an eagle-looking stone statue thing, again on top of the shield, which is interesting. And then the fourth image, lo it looks like to be the bottom of this building, um, or I, I don't know. It looks like to be the bottom of the, the structure. That's the word I'm looking for. But then there's a panel in it. And this is where it got me curious. Okay, so we're going to break down each of these images. And basically what I think um, they could mean for the future of Black Ops 4. Um, and yeah, basically go from there. So first of all, first of all, we've got this blue lightning-esque type thing. I say lightning-esque because if you look at it, especially towards the, bo the bottom of the image. I'll try and highlight it right now. It looks like there's like shards of something in there. I don't know. It could just be the way the, the quote-unquote lightning is sort of rendered. But it, to me, it kind of looks like some sort of glowing, like, I don't know, structure, structural sort of weapon thing rather than a bolt of lightning. Okay, so let's, let's break this down. So if you look at it, it kind of curves at the top, then curves down, and then it is obviously gripped by this person. And then at the bottom, it kind of goes almost down like a claw type thing so my kind of gist of this is could this be a new elemental weapon okay could this be a new staff the it obviously could be the lightning staff it could be um i don't know maybe even an ice staff i don't really know though um but whatever it is it seems to be very sort of powerful um because it's you know <laughs> illuminating sort of blue and white um which to me, the first thing when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, this looks like Zeus, okay? This looks like Zeus's lightning bolt, Zeus in the second picture, and then he has got a pet bird because Assassin's Creed, right? I don't know. Um, so, first image, could it be a weapon? Possibly. Could it just be a lightning bolt that the statue is holding for aesthetics? Possibly. 
could this be the way that the statue is powered possibly um could it just be decoration possibly who really knows moving on to the second picture second picture we've got this like i said norse viking looking guy we only see his beard so we can't make out who it actually is but we've got this guy he's got a beard he looks very viking-esque very sort of zeusy you know um and then you've got this sort of sundial looking thing and then that connects down to a shield which obviously the statue is kind of bearing and holding on so i mean i don't really know what to say about this viking norse mythology maybe coming into black ops 4 maybe that explains how the zombie sort of stuff is happening uh pff, i don't know man but yeah interesting i guess kind of explains the mythology of black ops 4 i suppose and yeah i'm um, we'll see we'll see i guess third picture we've also got this eagle again i don't think it's much significance maybe it could be hinting towards a new perk maybe it's like eagle eyes or something like that maybe it i don't know helps you find stuff in in the map i don't know maybe a dub of um vulture aid possibly could this be hinting at vulture aid i don't know uh who knows fourth picture i'm probably the most interested at right fourth picture is obviously a picture of a pedestal now i don't know if it's the same sort of structure as the three in before it um but to me it kind of looks like the pedestal that the statue stood on and then you've got this opening sort of diamond squarey type thing and to me that looks like something goes in there right so first thought that i had movable perks okay is this statue the first sort of look at a perk system in the new maps in voyager despair because i think this statue is from voyager despair the last picture the fourth picture does make me think of nine but i do think it's voyager despair simply because of we obviously saw that statue in the voyager despair uh sort of trailer uh but obviously it could be for nine as well hell it could even be for both of the maps we don't really know yet because obviously we haven't seen any gameplay but i think that this thing is something that maybe it transports around the map it has multiple locations um maybe this is a way of the perks sort of changing uh maybe the mutations you can select which perks you want on the map and this is where they appear who knows it literally could be anything but i definitely think something goes in that sort of squarey triangly diamondy thing there on the uh, on the pedestal interesting i don't know hmm who knows next up obviously that is the pictures um i will link the tweet down in the description so if you guys do want to check out the the pictures i assume you've seen it uh, but if you haven't you can go check out the tweet um i'll have it up on screen whilst i was talking about that anyway um but obviously next up they obviously said we look forward to seeing you on thursday 19th in san diego now what they mean by that is obviously san diego comic-con uh, which is happening and obviously every single year call of duty do like a panel at comic-con and usually it's where they reveal and talk about the zombies mode and it's already confirmed that blundell and um craig houston the lead writer for zombies obviously and then blundell where everybody knows who blundell is is going to be there they're going to be talking about zombies it's going to be great we're going to get new information i've actually looked at the comic-con schedule it's scheduled for an hour long panel um and obviously they spoke about um, I think they said at E3, they're going to have the collector's edition for Black Ops 4 there at San Diego and they're going to be revealing it. So that is one thing that we can definitely um, s sort of cement into place at San Diego on Thurs Thursday 19th. The collector's edition for Black Ops 4 will be announced and also probably up for oh excuse me, up for pre-order um, after that. Now, what I will say about that just quickly, uh, the BO3 collector's edition, which is obviously the Juggernaut Fridge, it sold out in like one to two days okay it was gone really quick they obviously added some more stock later down the line but the first initial wave was <laughs> it was gone in super fast time so if you want a black Ops 4 collector's edition i recommend you get on that pre-order as soon as it goes live okay um but yeah apart from that at san diego i imagine that they're going to show some sort of trailer um there's talk that there's going to be a gameplay trailer whether it, that is of mob whether that is of five uh the classified you know black ops plus exclusive pre-order bonus um maybe they could show some gameplay of nine voyager despair i don't really know honestly they could do a bunch of whole different stuff they could just be like hey here's a fifth map because we want to blow your mind even more <laughs> you know who knows um but yeah, probably a fifth map is kind of too far out there um but yeah so san diego is going to be interesting 
Um, I imagine just looking at how they ha handled E3, Treyarch and Call of Duty are looking to be a lot more transparent with the community, which is good things. So I imagine we're going to see some sort of immense trailers, whether that is of Five, whether that is of Mob, a Nine, or Voyager Despair. Who knows? They've only got an hour though, and in that hour, they need to fit in Collector's Edition and then whatever gameplay that they're going to be showing off. I imagine it's probably going to be gameplay of Nine and then a trailer for Mob. That would just kind of make sense to me. Um, and then they'll probably do like a Q&A where the fans that are there, unfortunately, I couldn't go, I wanted to. Um, the fans that are there could probably ask questions and hopefully we get some details that um, we've all been asking for and looking for. So, very exciting stuff. Um, I will be doing another video on probably around the Thursday 19th, probably either on the 19th or the 20th, breaking down all of the information and any trailers that come out. Um, I won't be streaming it because obviously, <laughs> copyright, um, but yeah, I will be making a video on all of the new stuff and breaking it out, <laughs> breaking it down for you guys um, because I'm super hyped about this game. Less than 100 days left and also if you haven't entered the BO4 giveaway, you should check out the description because there's a link down there to grab yourself a free copy um, that I'm doing. So check out that. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any opinions, thoughts, or emotions towards BO4 and upcoming Call of Duty Zombies content here on the channel, please let me know down in the comments. I'm excited to see you guys' feedback. But like I said, that is going to wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time uh, for probably some more Jurassic World or Ark or Call of Duty or Zombies or something else that I haven't really thought of yet. But until then, <gasps> adios.